Briefing fam, before I jump into the video, I completely forgot it's Cyber Monday and you can get free shipping on any order from Fragbox Corals over $209. Just use the coupon code Cyber Monday on the website. I shot the entire video and forgot that very, very important point. Keep in mind, we only ship here in Canada. Sadly, if you're outside of Canada, we cannot serve you, but you get to enjoy all our fun and ridiculous videos. That's Cyber Monday. That's the coupon code over $209 on the website. It's gonna ship to your door for free. Let's start this thing. What's going on, my reefing fam? March here, another episode of Fragbox TV. Nighttime, my favorite time here in the store to shoot. I can really, um, I think, think clearly and be more cohesive, I think, with the videos and what I'm trying to talk to you guys about. Anyways, I got the lights on white right now, so what I'm looking for is a little bit of feedback. We'll start with the question of the day. I'm usually shooting under blue, so just let me know how it looks on your end, on your computer, on your screen, tablet, phone, however you're watching. We're going to try something a little bit different. Usually, like I said, I'm using... Oh, I lost it. Uh, I have a blue... Oh, here, orange filter. So I'm usually shooting um, with an orange filter on, so it's going to be like blue, and then I have this over the camera, you see? And I feel like that gives a pretty accurate representation. I'm going to get to the point of the video in a second. You guys know you have to bear with me for about 60 seconds. I get the ADHD out of the way, but this is how I usually shoot. Blue, and then this. And that's how it looks all nice and pretty. There's the magic. Whoa, whoa, cool march. But today I'm doing it under all white, under our Radeon G4 Pros here. And um, yeah, I'm just looking at the comments for a little bit of feedback. Anyways, sometimes what I do late at night is I update the website. I take photos and I put them on. That being said, I am looking for help. We're looking for part-time help. We are very, very busy right now. I don't have the time to take all the photos because right now it's all me. Dylan has slowly started to take that on. But as I'm going through the tanks and updating the site, so what I do is da -da -da -da, go on the site, is this right, and then match them all up to our little number tags. I'm noticing that there's some really nice corals here and I think that the reason why they're still here is because the photos are not always accurate. So it's kind of tricky to do WYSIWYG, W-Y-S-I-W-Y-G, what you see is what you get because the camera isn't always going to pick up the true colors. So I thought, let me try a video. I'll do white lights and then I'll walk through and I'll kind of show you some corals that I think personally really, really shouldn't be here still. There's some hidden gems in this tank and let me start with this one over here. This is a large wall hammer that Tia thinks that we should keep. She doesn't want me to sell this piece. She keeps telling me to keep it. Not only because it's beautiful, healthy, and golden, but I'm gonna piss him off. Sorry, buddy. It's for the purpose of the video. If you notice here, look at that. Do you see a shape or a letter being resembled in any way? Does that not look like an F, huh? For frag box, she keeps saying we should keep it because of the shape. She isn't wrong, but it's a huge coral. It needs a big tank and a forever home. I don't know where I would put it. It's not going in that tank. The lights are off, but that's our SPS dominated tank. I don't have the room for it in this tank, and the rest of the tanks in this store are all nanos. So this is really for someone that wants, um, yeah, a big showpiece. It isn't cheap. I'm going to take a photo of it now and throw it up on the site. Actually, it may already be on there, but this is one piece I think really should not still be here in this store. You see the gold on the tips? It's got a little iridescent green, purple. It's got quite a few colors going on, and it's been here for a while. Very healthy, old coral. I'm going to run around to the other side of the tank and show you another coral I don't think should be here. Thanks again for everyone who came by Black Friday. Very great success here in the store. Um, this is a big Nephthia. Someone wants nice, big, easy coral to keep. Otherwise, I'm going to farm it out. I'm going to keep that. This should not still be here. Look at this dragon soul torch showing off perfect coloration. Very cool torch coral. For any torch coral collector out there, you got to have this one. These we have a bunch of, so I understand why they're still here, but they're not going to last long. So if you're looking for very green torch, that's what we call them to just like super green. Some people call them nuclear, atomic, radioactive, kryptonite. I don't follow the torch names as much. This is a scoli that is showing some signs of tissue recession. Very, very bad sign. In my experience, scoli starts to do this. That's basically it. So this is typically here in Canada, 250 to 300 bucks. 
If you would like to try and save this piece, would you save me prices? It's gonna be 50 bucks. First come, first serve. I would prefer not to ship it. Come grab it in person. In my experience though, once you start to see a little bit of skeleton or tissue on a scoli, it's, uh, its days are very much numbered. I have never successfully been able to bring one back. This is what you wanna see. Puffy, this one's a little bit on the smaller side, but that's a really good sign. Um, yeah, this video isn't all about keeping scolies alive, but I thought I would just mention that another coral that shouldn't be here is this orangey. It's somewhere between orange and red. So again, I'm looking at the comments. Let me know how the color is coming on your end, please. And maybe this is the way I'll shoot moving forward. I don't think it will be, but I'm trying something different. I'm open to feedback. Orange, red, Sinarina, beautiful piece. It's been here very, very long time. It's really special. And one of those pieces I can't really capture with the camera, which is gonna lead me into the next one. These are very hard to shoot. Anything in the blue or purple spectrum. So this is a, man, why do I always get stuck here? Ganipora, Ganipora, not Alvipora. Alvipora is gonna be like this, fewer tentacles. This one over here that is sold already. So if you're looking at it and you like it, not available, cool piece, but anything kind of blue or purple, just because of the way that the LEDs are and the spectrum, it's always gonna pick up funky with the camera. I think even now, see with the purple background too, I really need a piece of like black acrylic, kind of like we have over here on our overflows. Yeah, that's gross, kind of dirty. Why am I showing you that? But sometimes this back contrast against the coral is how you're gonna really show off um, the color of it. So that's a really cool little piece that shouldn't be here and it's not getting any any love. No one's taking it home yet. Same with these. These are a little bit tricky. So most of the corals we do order and sell here in the store are easier to keep. This is a sun coral, not photosynthetic. 99% of the corals we do sell are photosynthetic. This is the exception. You're gonna have to feed it. You're gonna have to really show this thing some love. And it's not getting the love and attention it deserves here at the store. Uh, I wanted to show you an open brain coral. I think I gotta run around quickly to the other side. Da, 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 da. Da, da, da. Open brain, this one is really cool. Same thing, not getting, it's getting glossed over. But if you look closely at it, it's kind of got a little bit of blue sticking out right there, if my finger is showing you properly. And then you see the gold stripes, it's just different. It's not like the type of open brain we would typically get in. And then the chalices, two more, and then I will let you guys go about your evening, have your dinner, watch your Netflix or whatever it is you tend to do in the evening. Oh, maybe water change, clean the glass on your aquarium over here. Check out this chalice. This is really funky. Red, blue, it's swirling kind of back and forth. Maybe I should grab the macro lens to really give it some love. These yellow eyes. You see that one eye there? Yeah, you know what? You guys bought us this macro lens. Let me um, let me go ahead and use it. Oh, and I want to show you the Lobo too. Man, I am in love with this macro lens. I feel like I'm shooting with a microscope. You see the eye on that thing? It's so cool. It looks like a little galaxy in its own little eye. This is a chalice coral. And it's really, really beautiful. And it's not getting love. It's not getting the attention it deserves. That's not to say that the other corals here aren't beautiful and really nice. Like this chalice. Oh, it's got a little blue streak going through the lobos. You know, there's lots of lots of these. This is actually really nice too. Um, it's not to say that these ones aren't nice. It's just that there are a couple corals here that, like I said, really shouldn't be here. And while we're on the topic of lobos, this is lobophilia, let me run across to the other side of the tank and show you one more. Look at him, hungry, his mouth is open. This one right here, keep in mind, I did just move it for, um, for you guys, for YouTube, and it's a little bit, not as puffed up, so it'll puff back up in maybe 20, 30 minutes, but I feel like going home at some point. Uh, yeah, this is a cool piece, the green, the yellow, the blue, yellow, and yellow green lobos, uncommon. Yellow coral in general, true, true yellow corals, uncommon. Again, this is under white light, so if you see it under blue light, the thing is iridescent. It really, it just glows, and it's not small. It's about four, three, three to four inches across, so it's a decent size. It's got a few mouths on it. It's a very cool lobophilia. Keep in mind, aggressive, so it does need a little bit of space, but um, I have it here next to some Zoas and Softies. It'll be fine. Oh, there are the blue lights. Let me go ahead and switch that over. Oh, or maybe it looks cool. Ah. Maybe we leave it for one second. We'll check out the blue. Thank you, Mr. Radeon. Thank you, Neptune. Mm. Okay, I think I'm gonna cover just two or three more. This is under blue light, and the lights are gonna turn to white. 
in just a second here because I pressed feed mode on my handy apex unit. I really could talk about all the, oh, there we go. I could talk about all the corals here um, really all evening, but this orange, this is an orange branching hammer coral that's very, very cool and wants to go home with you today. Keep in mind, we are in Canada and sadly, we can only ship within Canada. Um, I know, it sucks. We're like, this, this is like just coral porn. This is like a strip tease, but that's just the way it is. I like it though. Look at this. I like it. I like it a lot. I'm pretty sure I talked about this in one of the last videos, but this Favia, the way it's just, look at that, going back and forth. This little bipolar crazy, can't decide. What, I want to be red? I want to be green. Nope. You know what? I'm going to be both. I don't have to choose. Decisions are hard. Look at that. This acanthophilia is stunning. Look at the pattern on it. Really cool piece. Easy to keep. Kind of like a donut coral. Hello, I should feed him. He's probably hungry, just like me. Always hungry, perpetual hunger. And I guess we'll save the best for last. This chalice coral, I don't understand how no one's bought it yet. I'm gonna take it to the bandsaw soon. I'll give it another week if nobody grabs it. Like I said in other videos, I don't wanna frag this. This is beautiful just the way it is. It's perfect, it needs a forever home. But I will, unfortunately, if no one takes it, I am going to cut it. I'm probably, I'll show you actually, if you want to see how I'm going to cut this chalice coral because it'll be a little bit tricky. You see how far apart the eyes are? That's so cool though. Very beautiful piece. I think we're going to wrap it up. I think that's enough for this video on corals that should no longer be here in the store. If you agree with me, um, what you need to do is just add them to your cart and take them home. I'm just kidding. Most of the viewers out there aren't able to buy these anyways. But I really appreciate you guys watching this video. And if you liked it, come back tomorrow because what we do is a video here every single day of the week. Seven days a week, a reef-related topic. Thank you very much for watching, guys, this episode of Fragbox TV. And in normal March fashion, I have an idea right at the end of the video I forgot to mention. Cyber Monday, spend $200 or more on the website and your order is going to ship for free. Yep, absolutely free. Just use the coupon code CYBERMONDAY. Thanks for watching.